another remarkable view of the Earth, as seen from space. This computer visualization shows the daily pulse of invisible gases, oxygen, and carbon dioxide in the air. But these vitally important materials are not produced by some geological process. They are made by trillions of tiny breaths far below. To see how it works means returning to the Amazon. This rainforest is about 55 million years old, one of the oldest living systems on the Earth. It is so biodiverse that half of all life calls this place home. A massive five and a half million square kilometers of vivid green. Like the Antarctic or the Sahara Desert, this ancient ecosystem plays a vital role in the rhythms of the entire Earth. In this case, the process starts in tiny holes on the undersides of billions of leaves. During the day, the leaf takes up carbon dioxide from the air. It converts the carbon into sugar and releases the volatile gas we call oxygen. Over the course of its life, a tree will release millions of cubic meters of this precious gas. Every day, the Amazon processes a fifth of the world's oxygen. For decades, it has been thought of as the lungs of the Earth. But now, satellites are helping to show that it's not quite as simple as that. The Terra satellite has recently observed that most of the oxygen the Amazon produces is reabsorbed into the forest at night. To release an excess of oxygen requires one more step. Two million tons of sediment washes from the rainforest into the vast Amazon River every 24 hours. The sediment drifts eastward 6,000 kilometers and into the Amazon Delta. Here, plankton in the water absorb the sediment, and with yet more sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air, the plankton population explodes once more. a pulse of oxygen so enormous it can be seen from space. Half of all the oxygen in the atmosphere comes from plankton blooms. These tiny creatures are the real lungs of the Earth. It is they who maintain the precious balance of the air, 
This in turn allows the next link in the chain of life. An atmosphere rich in volatile oxygen allows more complex dynamic creatures to exist. Creatures who can move quickly using tails, wings, arms and legs. In fact, the balance of gases in the air defines the size of our bodies and ultimately governs almost everything we are. But oxygen appears to have a downside. It is so volatile that it can trigger violent runaway reactions. The most deadly of which is fire. Even this inferno is just another piece of the intricate jigsaw puzzle that is the Earth. It's October. A massive wildfire burns in the Yukon. These flames will devastate 25,000 square kilometers of forest in less than a week. At the same time in Siberia, 4,000 hectares of forest are aflame. But even this is only a small part of the influence of fire across the globe. Seen here as thousands of red dots, over one million square kilometers of the Earth is ravaged by wildfires every day. Fire is another of the Earth's remarkable systems. It plays a crucial role in the cycle of living things. place to see it in action is the boreal forest in northern Canada. This vast spruce forest has a special relationship with fire. Here dead and diseased trees lay practically dormant, such as the cold. Locked in this timber are the ingredients needed to make new life. But left like this, these trees would take many hundreds of years to break down. Fire can shorten this process to a matter of hours. Most natural wildfires start in the same way with a random electric bolt from the sky. The spruce tree is the perfect fuel. It combusts with such ease and immediacy that one spark and it bursts into flames. This is how volatile oxygen delivers its deadly blow. Oxygen in the hot air makes new bonds with the carbon atoms in the wood of the tree. This generates heat, which makes the oxygen bond faster still, creating yet more heat. The flame intensifies.
As the inferno rages, the energy from the sun that's been stored inside the plant as it grew is released. And that's what fire is. Watch a fire burning, and you're witnessing the power of the sun released from the life that has stored it for so long. Within a matter of hours, what started as a spark turns many hundreds of hectares of forest to flames. The organic matter these trees have stored for many hundreds of years is quickly turned to ash. These flames also remove the dead and deceased organisms which inhabit the forest and recycle them, returning their minerals back to the soil. Look at fire this way, and it becomes a beautiful process of regeneration and rebirth. Fire has been around ever since plants evolved. They produce the oxygen, and at the same time, they grew the material needed to burn. But plants not only make fire possible, many depend on it too. The spruce tree, for example, has evolved to drop its seeds in the ashen aftermath of a blaze. From space, we can see the effect fires have across the world. A pulse of new growth follows every blaze. Wildfires maintain the health of many of the world's habitats. Ecosystems that would otherwise stagnate instead regenerate. The satellites reveal how fire, weather, water, and ice combine to sustain the cycle of life. Everything is interconnected in an ancient and intricate system. But even this is just the beginning of what satellites are discovering. They can analyze and explore how the Earth reacts to external influences. And there's no greater influence than that of our local star, the Sun. <laughs> 